have uh, re-established contact with our correspondent uh, in Lagos. Just to recap, a Boko Haram video emerging uh, purportedly showing some of the kidnapped uh, Nigerian schoolgirls in uh, Muslim headdresses. Let's uh, talk now to our correspondent, Adore Achumba. Adore, a good evening to you. What sort of response has there been to this video today? Good evening, Jeremy. First, there is a bit of relief that the girls are alive and that we see them and, and you know, they are evidently accounted for. But the other side is that they look obviously distressed, uh, under duress, and the video is a very airy image of how terror works. We hear the children in that video um, reciting the Quran. They obviously uh, from that video as Abu Bakr Shakal makes us understand is that they have been converted to Islam against their will. Uh, this of course is troubling because that's how the terrorists work. They put people under duress and that's been uh, that's evident in this video uh, and, and people are concerned about the uh, condition of the girls uh, in that in that location that they are. It looked uh, like they were in the bushes somewhere, not clear exactly where they are, and not clear when this video was shot. Now, we have a sense then that the girls themselves may have been coerced. We also know that uh, Boko Haram's leader is willing to exchange the schoolgirls for Boko Haram prisoners. Um, how is that being uh, resolved, uh, or how is that being uh, 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 absorbed? How is it being uh, respected by the, by the Nigerian government itself? Well, that is a deviation from uh, Shakal's original uh, intent that he made public, claiming that he was going to sell the girls into slavery and that they were going to be married off. So now he's turning around and saying that he, he wants the release of Boko Haram members who are being held by the Nigerian government in exchange for uh, the release of the girls. Now, this is... Uh, opening room for negotiation, maybe inviting uh, room for negotiation. But the Nigerian government has taken the position that it will not negotiate with the terrorists uh, and that, you know, or even uh, sell uh, or rather uh, give up, give any ransom because that would amount to a sale uh, and that is against human rights. Uh, so this, again, you know, there are two ways to look at it. It's either you pay the money to get the girls released safely uh, or risk uh, not uh, not abide, not uh, acquiescing to their request and further uh, endangering the lives of the girls. So it's kind of like a catch-22, uh, and the Nigerian government really has to uh, think hard about this one before uh, it acts, you know, so that it doesn't set any precedent uh, to to. Um, to create future uh, situations like this one. And, and very quickly, is there a sense that the international efforts at, uh, at finding the schoolgirls is starting to intensify? We know, for instance, that U.S. and British officials are, uh, are in the capital, Abuja, at the moment. I didn't quite catch that, but with regards to international efforts uh, towards rescuing the girls, there are some uh, in the country already, and uh, Nigerians are relieved uh, that they're getting this attention, and the, the Bring Back the Girls social media campaign has elicited uh, this amount of response. The Israelis being the latest to send, uh, to say that they're going to be sending some support uh, towards uh, locating these girls. At the end of the day, everybody wants these girls back home in the safe custody of their parents. Jeremy? That's uh, Adore Chumber, our correspondent uh, in Lagos for ENCA. Just no more. ENCA.com.